in this video i'm going to show you how to add pay stack payment gateway into your e-commerce website that your customer can buy your product directly with their card and you will receive your money directly into your bank account please subscribe to my youtube channel enable the bell icon so that you'll be notified for new video updates we are going to add pay stack payment gateway into our e-commerce website in just four steps. First is to create account with Paystack. Open your browser and type paystack.com paystack.com So click on the first link here, Paystack. Then click create a free account. If you want the mobile app, you can install, but I don't want the mobile app. So here you can see the default country is Nigeria. So enter your business name here. I will enter Zenit. Zenit. Then enter your name. So I will enter my name here. Then enter your last name. Then you can change your default country if you want. When you are done, you enter your email address. Then create a password. And you can see the question from Paystack, are you a software developer? So I will click no, I'm not a developer. Then click create my account. You can see we have successfully created an account with Paystack. So it will lead you to this page. So click got it. And here click activate business. So here we are going to fill the information about our business. So enter the business description, sales and e-commerce. Enter the staff size, then choose your category. Then choose the type of goods you offer. Then here, click here to select your business. So I will choose starter business because my business is a small business. If your business is not registered. So when you are done, click save. Then it will take you to this page. So here we are going to fill our contact. So to fill our contact, scroll to your right. So scroll to right and click next. So here you are going to enter your mobile number. So I'll enter my mobile number here, my phone number. Enter your website here, your website URL. Then scroll down, enter the address. So I will put the state Lagos. Enter your street address. Enter your apartment number. Then click save. So we are going to fill the details of the owner. So go to your right and click next. So here, enter your name, your last name, your date of birth, then enter your nationality, I'm a Nigerian, then enter your mode of identification, you can choose driver's license, national identity number, voter's card, or passport, so I'm going to choose national identity number. So I'll click here. Then enter your national identity number here. So I'll enter the 11 digits NIN number. Then 
then and upload the NIN card. So uh, upload your identity card here. So you take a shot of your identity card and upload the picture here. So when you're done, click save. So we have successfully uploaded our identification. So click next. Then here you are going to enter your bank name. So I will select my bank, I will choose first bank. Then enter your account number here. So when you successfully enter your account number, they will verify the account number and generate your name. So you can see my name is automatically generated and my account is verified. So I'll click next. And you can see I've successfully created an account. So you can see the details of my banks there. Then I will click activate business. So click activate business. So you can see we have successfully created an account with Paystack. Now that we have successfully created an account with Paystack, next, let's add the Paystack to our website. So go to your website dashboard. We are going to install the Paystack plugin. So go to plugins, click add new. So search for a plugin here called Paystack WooCommerce. So I will type Paystack WooCommerce. This is the plugin, so click install now and click activate. So after installing the plugin, scroll down to the plugin. So I will look for the plugin that I just installed now. This is the plugin. So click settings. And here click enable pay stack. Then you can change the title. So I will change the title and type pay with debit and credit card. Then scroll down, make sure the test mode is activated. So I will change the payment page to inline. Then here is the place we are going to put our test secret key and the test public key. So scroll down and click save changes. Then go back to your Paystack account and log into your account. So I'll go back to Paystack. So log into your account. Then go to settings, settings, then go to API keys and web hooks. Then from here, you can see we have the live secret key and the live public key here, but we are testing this website. So we'll scroll down to the test secret key and the test public key. So to copy the test public key, this is the test public key. So click here, then copy this key, then go back to my dashboard, then paste it here in the test public key. So go back to paste stack and copy the test secret key. So I'll copy the test secret key, go back to my dashboard and paste it here. So when you are done, to test this, scroll down, then I will enable safe card, then I will click enable custom metadata, then I will select the details I want to appear to my customer's checkout page. So I will select the customer's email, I will select the customer's phone number, the customer's billing address, then I will scroll down and select product purchased. Then click save changes. Now, if a customer select a product from my store, add the product to their cart, we are going to test this payment. Then click view cart and scroll down and click proceed. 
So they will lead them to the proceed checkout page like this. So you can see pay stack have appeared here. So the customer will enter their details. Yeah, enter their state, enter their street address, enter their number, the town, the state, their mobile number. Then if they scroll down and click place order and click pay now, then they will select their payment method. So I will use test card. I'll click pay with cards. Then I will select one of the test cards and click pay. You can see that the payment is successful. So the customer will get a checkout order like this. So this is how to make test payments. Now that we have successfully added pay stack and make the test payment, next is to add the live payment. To make live payment, click here to disable the test mode. Then go back to your pay stack account, go to API keys. Then here we are going to copy the live secret key and the live public key. So to copy the live public key, click on this live public key and copy. Go back to your dashboard and paste it here. Then go back to pay stack to copy the live secret key. Then to copy the live secret key, you need to enter your password. So I will enter my password and click continue. Then copy the live secret key. The live secret key is very important. So go back to dashboard and paste it here. So when you're done, scroll down and click save changes. Now if a customer select a product from your store and add the product to their cart and view their cart. Then click proceed to checkout. Fill in their details as I've done before. Then they can go ahead and click place order. Now they will click pay now. Here you can see we have different transaction payment method. So if I click pay with bank, then I can select the bank I want to pay with. So I can click here. I can select First Bank, GT Bank and other banks. So I can pay through these banks. Now if I go back, I can pay with transfer. Then to pay with transfer, I will transfer the money to this Zenith Bank account. So after transferring the money, I will click here. I have sent the money for confirmation. Now I can pay with USSD, so I will transfer through the USSD code. But in this tutorial, I will pay with card. So to pay with card, enter your card number, enter the card expiry date and the card CVV. So I will do that now. I will enter my card details. So I've done that. Then click pay now. Then it will take you to this page. Click authenticate. Then my bank, I'm using UBA. So they will send me options. So I will choose OTP. Then click continue. So an OTP will be sent to me. So this is the OTP, open your message and copy this OTP. So I'll copy that now, then paste it here, then click submit. So you can see the payment is now successful. I've successfully made a payment and I've successfully purchased a product. Now, if I go to my mail boss, you can see I have reframed many images. So if I click on this message from Zenith, 
So you can see, thank you for your order. This is an approval for my order. So you can see this is my order details. Then if I go back and click on this message from Paystack, you can see this is the receipt of my payment. Now for this order to be approved, go back to your dashboard and go to orders. Then you can see this is the orders that have been placed and the orders are processing. So click on this eye icon to complete the order. Then click completed. I will click completed. So you can see that the orders have been completed. So your customer will receive a message. If they open the message, you can see thanks for shipping with us. So this is the order completion invoice sent to your customers. And this is how the order will look like. So if I go back to my Paystack account and go to my Paystack homepage, you can see these are the transaction I made. And this is the 500 transaction I just made now, the 500 Naira. Now, if I go back to my Paystack and click transactions, You can see the total transaction I have made in Paystack and the total amount is 1,400 and the money will be transferred to my account within 48 hours. So this is how to add Paystack to your e-commerce website and receive payment directly to your bank account from your customers. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, enable the bell icon to receive more videos like this. See you in the next video.